And I'm here tonight with my friends. Bonjour, je m'appelle Olympia. Bonjour, je m'appelle Maxime. Olympia and Maxime. Tonight, my French friends and I are going to give you a lesson on a French master artist, Henri Matisse. <laughs> and you're going to pick out the corresponding colors. From the colors that you decide, you're going to select a background piece of paper. Then what you're going to do is you're going to pick complementary colors for your artwork and you're going to use your scissors. You can use these fun scissors or you can use straight edge scissors. Whatever scissors you select, is just your choice and it will be a perfect selection regardless of what it looks like. So you're going to pick your complementary colors and here I think I'm going to pick the wavy one. Maxime, what are you going to pick for your sea creatures? the wavy one, but just bigger. Bigger, okay. So we're gonna cut some ocean waves in our paper for the underwater. And Olympia is going to cut her paper for the field of flowers. And what you wanna do is identify your cutout. And it can be vertical or it can be horizontal, whichever speaks to you the best or the most. And we're going to look at our positive space and our negative space. And that's what Henri Matisse is known for. color and what you want to do is you want to save every single piece of paper because we're going to use as much of it as we can and my friends and I are working so hard to show you how Henri Matisse does his master artwork oh Maxine that's gorgeous well done, Olympia. I love that. So now we're going to take our glue stick and we're going to glue our waves on the paper so that they're steady. We're going to glue our grass so it's steady. And then we're going to get, begin to embellish with either flowers or sea creatures, whichever you selected to design. Be sure you use a lot of your glue stick. about your efforts. Good. Good. And you can see that I chose something a little bit more boring. I put my straight edge along the straight edge. 
And if you look at Maxine here, he was more creative. He put his cutout edges along the cutout edges. And Olympia, she put her edge in the middle of the paper to show some interest. So we're gonna do a little bit more gluing to get our background just perfect. Oh, and Maxime, he did two colors on the background. How very creative. Maxime and Olympia, let's tell our audience something super fun about you two. You're not only brother and sister, but you're also twins. Twins. <gasps> and how old are you? Eight and a half. Eight and a half. And when is your birthday? November 12th. <gasps> November 12th. That is so exciting. It's coming up before you know it, right after Halloween. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. I love the different tones in the ocean. Maxine, that's awesome. I think I might have to do another background tone just to see what's happening here in this water. And this project, friends, this project should be fun and creative and you should enjoy identifying all the different aspects of positive space and negative space. And positive space is what you appreciate in the foreground or the front aspect of your paper, your art piece. And the negative space is more in the background of your artwork. But both of them are equally important. Because with a boring background, you have a boring art piece. So don't hesitate to spend some time on your background. our accent colors. I've selected a pale yellow green. We're going to pick some nice scissor patterns and we're going to make some sea creatures. And when we make our sea creatures what we want to do is we want to cut it out from a smaller piece of paper just like this and we want to save the positive space as well as the negative space so we'll do a little jellyfish here with the head and the tentacles and if anyone has ever been to the beach you know to avoid the jellyfish right Maxime and Olympia yeah. have you been to the beach yeah. yes Oh yes, and tell us about the jellyfish. Well, the jellyfish are not very comfortable. No, sometimes they can get you. And then it's what? You. That's right. And that is not fun, is it? Nope. Now, unfortunately, I made a little bit of an error with my paper here. But you can see what it looks like with the negative space and the positive space. So we're going to go with the positive space right now because I accidentally cut that. And we're going to glue on our positive space jellyfish. I think once he's secured, he won't be able to sting anyone, don't you think? No. Nope. So it keeps us safe, right? Oh, Maxime, I love your dolphin. <gasps> I love that. Oh, Olympia, your flower is so pretty. 
So we're just gonna keep cutting out our figures. And I think what I'm gonna try to do, I don't know if it's possible, because sometimes I struggle with stars, but I am going to attempt to do a starfish here. And you can see, here's a negative space starfish right here. And Henri Matisse was very big about negative space. And here's the positive space starfish. And all these creatures live together in the sea. So happily. Just swimming around day after day. And when you put your glue on, be generous with the glue. Don't be skimpy. Use a lot of glue so that it stays secure because we don't want to lose any flowers and we sure don't want to lose any sea creatures. We want them to stay right where they are. And I think what I'm going to try to do is cut out a fish. Now, Maxime and Olympia, tell me what you do at the beach when you go. What's a way that you spend your time at the beach? We build sand castles. We try to catch some crabs. Oh, do you catch the crabs? Not really. No? Are you scared the crabs are going to pinch you? Yeah, a little bit. But do they ever? Yes, one day. Uh oh. A crab um, pinched my brother. <gasps> Maxime, where did he pinch you? On the finger? Yes. Oh, or on the nose? On the finger. And what did you do? Well, you can't really do something. Did you flick him off? Did you say, ouch? Flick him off? Good for you. Tell that crab, you're not welcome here, crab. So I think what I'm going to do is add just a little bit more of my negative space at the bottom to give it a little bit more interest. Can I borrow your glue? I'm going to glue down my fish in the positive. This is the positive. Glue down my fish. And then I'm going to glue down my fish in the negative. And remember, be generous with your glue. Because we don't want to lose any flowers or sea creatures. And then here's my negative. Now if you get near the edges of your negative, like I am up here, you have to be very careful and delicate so that it doesn't tear. But I know that you can do that. It's not a big deal. Just keep it in mind. And then with every piece of artwork, when you finish, you always want to do something to show it belongs to you. So, Maxime, thank you. Say it again a little bit louder, my friend. You sign your paper. That's right. That's right. So, when my friends are done, they're going to sign their paper. And you can see this gorgeous dolphin and this gorgeous flower in terms of our field of flowers and our sea creatures. <laughs>